What's up everybody, it's Roger and James here from the Disney Podcast. In this episode, we're going to be talking about Halloween at Disney and kind of feeling that it's a little bit early to be doing Halloween stuff in the middle of August because the Halloween party started last Friday. Um, so they're now underway over at the Walt Disney World. Main Street USA is all done up in the pumpkins. You've got all the merchandise out there. It's all of it. All the merchandise is up on shopdisney.com. I think over in California, it doesn't start till September, but so many comments from people were just going, it's August. It's the middle of August. I mean, for example, here for us in the UK, we are still in the kids' holidays. Um, the kids don't go back for a couple more weeks. Like, the concept of Halloween and fall, it's like we're still in the middle of our summer holidays. It just feels way too early to be doing Halloween stuff already. It does, I have to agree, um, on principle with that. You know, Halloween is October, and it really shouldn't start until October. I can understand starting in September uh, for Disney because they have the, pa- the party and stuff, but it really should be an October thing. Similarly, uh, here in the States, Thanksgiving should be November, and Christmas should be December, and I'm, and you have the same kind of reaction. Yeah. when As soon as the Halloween stuff is gone, you instantly have the Christmas stuff because Thanksgiving doesn't really have stuff other than lots of food um with that in mind i do want to point out uh which i'm sure a lot of people are already aware of they've been doing it in august since at least 2017 if not earlier so this isn't exactly a new thing and and the fact that it was this year rather than last year or 2017 or any other year that they've done it in august where people are like halloween isn't in our i'm just kind of like yeah but this isn't new i think there's that difference of it being like the 31st of 30th, 31st of August, and then there's like the teens, like 16, 17th. That's like you're in the middle of the summer. I mean, I know um, even one of my uh, staff, she said, Oh, one of my friends has gone out to Disney and they've sent me pictures and saying, Why is everything done up in Halloween? You know, like there are people that, you know, you've probably got a lot of holiday makers there now going, well, Why are you putting up all the Halloween stuff now? It's all, I. I get September. I think this is. I think I know. Understand why they've done it because they managed to get another two weeks of um, ticket sales for the Halloween party in there right. at Magic Kingdom, and I can understand having the merchandise out and stuff on shelves. But it's like all the Halloween costumes and stuff. I've been doing lots of articles. And, I mean, let's be honest. The, I know the Christmas puddings are cu- and Christmas um, selection boxes are coming into the supermarket probably next week because they normally do. But it just feels like. I was seeing a lot of comments on social media about people kind of taking the mick out of it a bit, kind of like thing of like, it's too, it's that, it is just too early. Yeah, and it, I don't know. It's not really Halloween's fault. It's not really Mick, uh, Disney's fault. I mean, they, they certainly perpetuate it, but they're hardly the only company nah. that's starting Halloween in August. Uh, heck, I think if you've even seen the... I, I know the Halloween candy has been out at my grocery store since at least two weeks ago, which is when yeah. I noticed it, possibly longer. Um, the real problem, and not that there's a solution to it, but the real problem is there's no summer holiday that that really kind of matches Halloween and Christmas in this festive spirit. Obviously, here in the States, we've got uh, July 4th, Disney, Euro Disney, of course, has Bastille Day in Paris. I don't know if they do anything for that or not. Yeah. But... Um, you know, we don't have that holiday. We don't have anything, even though the kids are out of school, you know, they, they've got their summer break. There is no thing that kind of ties everything together. I know in Disney, they're going to try and start doing the Star Wars nights yeah. over in Hollywood Studio, which will be the same kind of thing, except Star Wars themed and not necessarily set to a time period. They are going to set it to a time period, but it's not bound by our cultural expectations yeah. or whatever. Um and I, you can't just make up a holiday, obviously. You can't just go, all right, July 21st is now uh, Bloop Day. Yeah. And we will have Bloop Day celebrations for the, ne- for the next four weeks and so on. So you can't really do that. So it's not, it's not something Disney can do anything about. But at the same time, I can also totally understand why people are like, no, we don't want the Halloween to start this early. One other point, though. Uh, if I was down in Disney around this time, I, I wouldn't because it's way too yeah. hot at this time of year. But let's say I was. I would totally go to the Halloween party. Not because it's a Halloween party, but just because you know that exclusive ticket sales make the park so much nicer once yeah. everyone else filters out. Um, 
And I think that, you know, if this backlash or this snark continues, uh, we might see something from Disney that's not necessarily holiday related, but something more like the Star Wars Nights, where they they kind of try to mimic this with something else. Maybe they'll make it a a Pixar themed something or other, or uh, heck, they might even just move Star Wars uh, or once. You know, Star Wars opens up in Hollywood Studios and Disneyland. They might have something else to pull people to other parks because you, you kind of can't pack that many people in Hollywood Studios, no. and it's going to be very packed for a while. Yeah, especially the next, it's. A, I think the thing is for me is like, it's really going to come down to the ticket sales. Is, are those Halloween nights in August going to sell? Are they going to sell enough to do it? That's basically going to be the the key point. If they feel like they they're, they're a bit soft, then they might push it back a bit and go, it's not ready. But they're probably looking at it from the point of view, they're putting up all the direct decorations and stuff anyway. They do it a few weeks early, they get some more money from it. And it's really come down to that pure thing. I mean, I watched a parade and stuff the other night and boo to you, got stuck in my head again. Um, but, you know, then they've added some bits and pieces to it. But it was just one of those weird things of, I mean, I was, I was watching um, a podcast the other day and they were talking about, you know, well, okay, well now it's full, we can put up a things like, uh, yeah, okay, it's, I will admit, the weather's starting to turn a little bit, but it's. I think maybe for us, we're still in summer mode, and it was like, I'm not, it's like Halloween is two and a half months away, and it just felt like very, very early to be sort of having so much Halloween content coming from Disney this week. Oh yeah, absolutely, and it, and it's, it's only going to get worse over time, you know, if they did indeed move it up a couple of weeks, and you can fully expect it in uh, the, the coming years, they're going to move it up even more, or they're going to add something else on, yeah. um, like the Star Wars Nights. You so. have July 4th, and then the follow-up of July 5th, they can put the Halloween stuff. <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm kind of amazed that they don't have May the 4th uh, yeah. and May the 6th or May the 5th, whichever you prefer, yeah. uh, celebrations already. I mean, I know they kind of token nod to it. You know, uh, they've got pins and stuff mm. that come out, but they haven't made, like, an actual... Yeah, well, they had that... Um, Gal- Galactic Nights when I was down there in May and I mean it was pretty packed and was, um, I wasn't paying to go in there because I wasn't paying 125 bucks or whatever it was to go in there and do that because it would be honest if it was for me only the rest of the group wouldn't have had any interest in it and it was quite over expensive for what it was but yeah you would have expected like the Galactic Nights to fall on that one there but yeah they just need it feels it just felt like yeah, there was a lot of little comments and stuff. I mean, I know, like, I mean, Halloween, they do bits and pieces at Disneyland and Disneyland Paris. But Walt Disney World was a full-on, just like, having the having um, pumpkins on ca- on the castle in the middle of August just seemed a little bit pushing it. It does. And, and, and you know, like you said, it's going to come up to the consumers. And I suspect that there are a lot of annual pass holders who have that same mentality that I do. They don't really care that it's a Halloween. Mm. Uh, event they only care that there's less people in the parks during it uh sure you get some free candy which is always a nice perk but uh well free yeah. quotes you're paying a lot to get in there but yeah i mean to take advantage of having less people in the park shorter uh wait times being able to do pretty much any ride you want plus there's additional things going mm-hmm. on i know when i did the halloween party um when we got off of uh the haunted mansion there mm. were two people doing kind of a stand-up routine in the cemetery right yeah. you know as you're exiting and that was pretty cool uh you don't see that at other times of year yeah. and if you're in disneyland of course some of the rides have been changed it's uh it's a small world being one of them haunted mansion being another uh, splash um, Mountain, i think they did this year i think they turned like all the lights off I, and put some music on or something i think i heard and it's honestly probably an improvement for splash mountain <laughs> I, I mean not that splash mountain's a bad ride i actually do enjoy it but it's also a ride that hasn't been updated in a long time, so it'd be kind of nice to do it in a different, uh, I, I was going to say light, but in this case, yeah. not light. Yeah. I don't know. So yeah. that would be fun. Yeah, it's a bit odd. But, yeah, let us know in the comments below or through um, social media, what do you guys think? Is Disney, Disney go a little, push the boundary a little bit of going a bit too early um, for their Halloween celebrations over in Walt Disney World and all the merchandise and all the bits and pieces. Love to know your thoughts. Go check us out over at thiskingdom.com. Like, follow, subscribe on all the different audio and video platforms. James, where can they find you? I'm at heroiclegacy.com. And on that note, guys, thank you very much for joining us. Boo to you. Boo to you.